Hey everybody, I'm Anna Huffmaker with Huffmaker Violins. This is another one of our Student Stuck at Home video series. Now, I have a question for you. You're all stuck at home with your family and your pets, and I know that you all love each other, but did you ever want to just drive your family crazy? Today's video is actually going to help you do just that. And when your parents send me emails saying, stop teaching my child how to drive me crazy, I'm just going to nod and smile because this will drive them crazy, but it will also make you a much better musician. Today, I'm going to teach you about vomit exercises. Yes, you heard me correctly. They're called vomit exercises. I did not make this up. Let me tell you, I learned about these from Gary Carr. I don't know if you know who Gary Carr is, but he is the most famous, the most amazing, the most generous bass player in the entire world, as far as I'm concerned. In fact, one of the things I want you to do after this video is over is I want you to go Google Gary Carr, K-A-R-R, -R, and um, watch some of his videos. He's an amazing musician and an amazing teacher. But he taught us all about vomits. Now, vomit exercises are something you can do a million different ways, but I'm just going to show you a basic vomit. And the purpose of a vomit is to help your shifting, to make your shifting clean, precise, and to help you learn about the muscle memory of your arm. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to pick a string. It doesn't matter what string, and ultimately you're going to practice them on all of them. I want you to pick a finger, same thing. Right now, just pick one finger. Ultimately, you'll do it on all of them. And today we're just going to do on the D string, and I'm going to pick a pattern. I'm going to think of kind of like a major scale. We're just going to do the first few notes. And I'm going to go from the first finger E. Let's make sure I'm in tune. And I'm going to slide slowly and evenly up to an F sharp, E to F sharp in a slur. And then I'm going to go back. Now, start off just doing that a few times. Now, can you see already? Oh, it kind of sounds a little bit like a Pepto-Bismol commercial. So once you've done that, few times. Then, I'm, I'm following the pattern of a major scale, so I'm going to go E, F sharp, G sharp. Now, if you notice, I'm going nice and slow. I am not picking up my finger at all. I'm not... That defeats a lot of the purpose. I am actually teaching my hand and my arm all along the way exactly how to go from first position to third position. That's another way you can think of this, because in this, I went first to second, second to first, first to third, and then I'm gonna do first to fourth. Now, you pick your pattern and you practice it, and you can add all kind of neat variations to this. You can go first finger to second finger, second finger back to first finger them all like that. That's a fabulous way to do this. You can do first to fourth. You can do first to third. This works on violin, viola, cello, and bass. I'm showing you on the bass today because I wanted to honor Gary Carr. Um, then you can actually use intervals and string crossings. They get a little bit more intense because your fingers need to stay down when you're doing that shifting. And I want to hear a nice, icky, vomity slide from the first note to the top note and back down. So the main thing, and I think the most challenging thing when you're doing this, you must pay attention to your intonation. This is not going to do you any good if you sit at home and do this over and over, but you don't have a center of pitch that you're traveling from and traveling to. What I actually like to do is I like to set my tuner, and you can use your cell phone app, and I set it on the bottom note so it's playing constantly to keep me honest when it comes to my intonation so that when I travel back down to that low note, I'm coming exactly back down. I will tell you that something that we all do by accident is we end up coming down too far and then going back to the original note. You don't want to do that. You're teaching your muscles that to go too low when you do that shift. And if you think back to our earlier video on the clay ball, every time you do it wrong, you're still learning it. You don't want to learn it wrong. So 
play, use your tuner, play that bottom pitch, and practice driving your family a little crazy while you're all stuck at home. Vomit exercises, I bet if you YouTube them, there's probably a million of them out there. I've never tried, but I bet it's out there. I hope this helps you to learn to make your shifts better. I am Anna Huffmaker with Huffmaker Violins. You're gonna go Google Gary Carr, K-A-R-R, -R, and then you're gonna go email your teacher and say thank you for everything you're doing for me. You guys have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.